G'day to you. So this video has been recorded live on Facebook and if you're catching this part, you are watching a replay. So I want you to hit the number two so that we know who we're working with. And this also just helps us to tailor our content. And if you're on YouTube right now, leave us a comment. Let us know how you are doing. All right, my mission is to help entrepreneurs such as yourself to set up reliable and lucrative businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. I see Liz Bokani has just tuned in. How are you doing and happy birthday? Hope you had a fantastic day right there. There's going to be a lot of noise behind me because uh, for some weird reason my neighbor decided to cut their grass today. So I'm going to try and speak over the noise. My name is Prosper Tarovinga, by the way. And if you're just tuning in and joining us for the first time, welcome aboard. I see Lisa is here. Thank you so much. And Esteban, Steve Perez. How are you doing, my man? Thank you so much for joining us today. Okay, so like I was saying, my mission is to help you and other entrepreneurs to actually have businesses that are reliable, that are lucrative, and that are profitable and also enjoyable. So we use um, you know, simple yet effective digital marketing strategies, and I also help people that are starting out um, you know, and high-profile executives to repair and also set their business systems and processes so that they are actually profitable. I see Lisa says, hi Prosper, it's great to be here. Thank you so much. I haven't seen you in a while. I hope everything else has been perfect. All right. So obviously some people are going to catch us. Some people are going to watch this in post-production. It all is the same. These days it's not a numbers game. It's those that are there are the ones that are actually going to benefit. So if you're tuning in right now, thank you so much. Don't forget to give me some love because then it just encourages me to go on. Today I'm going to be talking about something that a lot of people are getting really confused about lately. Is Okay, since Facebook pages are no longer working, should I start a Facebook group or should I start a community or a tribe around of my business and a lot of people don't know how to do that a lot of people don't actually know what it entails and they're not quite sure if they're the right kind of person to take on that endeavor right so there's only one word that I want you to understand and if that's the only thing that you get from this video then that's it it's called leadership leadership do you think yourself um, you are a leader? If you think you're a leader, can you type in the number one? If you think you want to learn about leadership, can you type in the number two? And if you just don't care, can you just type in the number three? I just want to know the people that are actually engaged so that I will tailor the content uh, depending on what you guys say. So if you classify yourself as a leader, I want you to type in the number one. If you want to learn more about leadership, I want you to type in the number two. If you don't care any less whether you're a leader or not, then type in the number three and then we'll figure out how we're going to move on from there. Now, Esteban Steve, my man, says he is a leader. That's a very good thing to be this day and age. You know why? Because People are looking for people, um, you know, others to follow. All right. We as human beings, we are societal beings. All right. As, um, as, 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 as societies, all societies have some sort of a hierarchy. And in that hierarchy, there's leaders, there's a matriarch, there's people that look after certain parts, um, you know, for that community to thrive. And then there's people that just follow. All right. So Langton, Shupi, Matambanad, Zuri Segum, Darawang. <laughs> Long time. Parliament. video is, you know. So some people are probably born leaders. And you might be surprised why I'm actually talking about this because if you really, really want to make a business that's profitable and enjoyable, I don't know if you can see this part because it looks like there's a lot of reflection, but I, I will put it out there. You got to create relationships with your audience and that only breeds loyalty. And when you have managed to brand yourself, you then can create a community around your product. All right. And when you've created community, it's easier for you to have that brand loyalty and people that become ambassadors of your product. And I see uh, Tav Shamanu has just tuned in. Thank you so much, brother. Today, we're just talking about leadership and how a lot of people are thinking of starting Facebook groups because 
because Facebook pages are no longer viable. So if you want to create a community around your work, which is the best way to go, you've got to be a leader. And today we're going to be talking about the leadership skills in this day and age of, um, you know, social awakeness or enlightenment that a lot of people now possess. All right. Let me tell you something. Your customers right now are looking for somebody who has a plan, who has a vision, who has passion, who's going to inspire them, who's not stopping to improve themselves, who is going to be positive, who has a clear, clear, straight out vision for which they can follow. Every one of us is looking for that particular aspect in anyone else they're going to be listening to or anyone else they're going to be buying their stuff. Now, do you possess any of those attributes? Do you have any of those? Now, the good part about it is leadership is a skill. And like any other skill, which is like a muscle, you can train it and you can actually start um, doing the things that will lead you towards creating a community that will then sing praises or become brand loyal to your brand and ambassadors, right? So like I mentioned a little bit earlier on, the people that I really want to talk to are those people that have that want to take that route in in order to build their brands, in order to build their business, because right now utilizing a Facebook page is now just like quicksand, all right? But if you create a Facebook group, you got to possess leadership skills in order for people to want to follow you, all right? So, do you know what I mean? There's, if, if, if there's any sort of leadership skill that stands out the most, it has to be that of passion. Are you passionate about what it, whatever it is that you, you say you are uh, selling to people or you are doing for, for, for everybody else? All right. So I'm going to be talking about all of those things. And I want you to understand, not everyone is born a leader. Do you know what I mean? Good day, Nicole. How are you doing? Long time no speaking. All right. Not everyone is born a leader. And the rest of us, you know, we we have to continually learn and improve on those leadership skills. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't matter whether you're male or female. It doesn't matter whether you want it or not. But once, at least once in your life, if you're going to be owning an online business, people are going to want to hear what your, your future holds for them in order for them to be attracted to what you're doing. Do you know what I mean? So you are going to have at some point take on a leadership role that which you will lead people to whatever it is your promise is or what your brand distinction actually is. I see LC Tapio is in here. My name is Irisei. <laughs> I hope you're feeling good and uh, enjoying your, um, you know, your afternoon. Is it afternoon for you guys there? I'm not quite sure. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in to this part of my show. All right. So it doesn't matter if you're going to be running a group of two people or 200 people or 200,000 people. If anyone is going to be following you, they need a reason to. If anyone is going to be watching your content, they need a reason to see that content. If anyone is going to be sharing your content or if anyone is going to be buying from you instead of anybody else, they are going to need a reason for that. Now, as a leader, are you able to communicate that reason? Are you able to show them that you are the right kind of person who has the right kind of solution to whatever pain they're going through? All right. It doesn't matter whether you're male or female. It doesn't matter whether you're young or you're old. You're going to have to show your leadership skills at some point because being a leader, it means you have to be responsible for your actions, responsible for your outputs, responsible for the promises that you give out to people. And I'm going to show you it's not it's not an easy um, you know, walk in the park. It's a hard job. But it's something that you can learn if you really want to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable, you know? So you're going to need to have specific set of qualities in order for you to be a good leader, all right? You might think to yourself, oh, I'm just a solopreneur or I'm just a freelancer. But if you're going to want people to have any word of mouth around your commodities or your products, if you're going to need people to um, be your tribe or be people that, you know, um, spread the word about you, they're going to need to see your vision. They're going to need to see the qualities of you being a good leader. So you're going to have to be adaptable. You're going to have to be positive. 
You're going to have to be assertive. But most of all, you need to actually be inspiring people. The biggest thing that leads people or leads customers to any uh, promised land is hope. So are you giving people hope for a better future? Are you giving people hope for salvation from whatever it is that they're going through right now? You know, on a scale of one to 10, how inspiring are you? Can you type it in the comments there? How inspiring a person are you that people would leave whatever they're doing and follow you so that they can go to the promised land with you? So in this video here today, we're going to be talking about what actually makes a really good leader and how you can also improve your skills. And it doesn't really matter whether you were born a natural leader or you were not even born. You know, some people think just because I was not the first born in my family, then that means I cannot be a leader. All leaders are usually self-taught. And one thing is for sure, your leadership skills would need to constantly improve. First of all, you improve yourself through educating yourself, watching videos like this every single day. And most of all, you have to be self-training. No one is going to come and knock on your house's door, Elsie. No one is going to come and knock on your house's door, Lisa. No one is going to come and knock on your house's door, Taf, and say, hey, listen, here is the badge. Now you can be a leader. Because the more you, you, you cocoon yourself or you hold yourself um, backwards, either you've got a business partner that is out there and can possess those leadership skills or you're going to have to do it on your own. Do you know what I mean? And the one thing that separates any leader from, from whoever, you know, in, in whatever niche they might be in, look at this, give you a perfect example. Martin Luther King, there was no Facebook there was no, um, you know, there was no Skype, there was no uh, Facebook Live, there was no email, but he managed to bring over 250,000 people on Lincoln Square at the same time. That is because he transferred his passion for what he wanted because he believed in the dream that he had. Are you able and eloquently to transfer that passion because that's the beginning of leadership. If you have passion and you can transfer it to somebody else, that's the first thing that shows how much of a big leader you are. I see Steven Seddon is in the house. Thank you so much, my man. How are you going? You know? So if there is any leadership skill that actually stands out and is the most important is that of passion. You know? You know, passion is that one thing that, you know, everyone has passion. Right, but true leaders know how to actually express it in such a way that they use it to inspire other people. How inspirational are you? I ask you to type in the comments from a scale of one to ten. How motivational or how inspirational do you think you are? Because there's a reason to why I'm saying this. Nobody will follow a leader if they don't believe in what you're doing. Nobody will follow a leader if they don't understand your beliefs, if they don't understand where you're headed to, you know? So for you to motivate others, your co-workers, your new clients, or people that haven't heard about you, you need to show them that you genuinely care, first of all, about the projects that you're putting out and that you're actually working on everybody else's benefits. How good are you in showing people that you actually do care? Nicole says she's an eight on the inspiration ladder. That is very good. What would, what would it take for you to have the rest of the two for you to get to 10? Can you let us know in the comments there? You know? So if you're having trouble actually inspiring other people or maybe inspiring yourself, try and find new ways to express that passion. Are you good at writing? Are you good at video? Are you good at maybe um, public speaking? Figure out a way that you can, you know, transfer that passion. Because you, you, you start by letting people know, you know, when, 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 when you've done something well, and then they can see that you've got the passion in what you're doing. Or if somebody doesn't care that, you know, you know about, about whatever it is that you're doing, or whoever is amongst you, show them that you actually do care about their own well-being. Because everybody else out there is looking for that inspiration. You know, 
Some people don't feel validated at home. So if you're a leader, you have to be showing that you actually do care about those that are following you. And guess what? All the other people will just pick up on it. And soon you have a much um, you know, healthier you know, community or a tribe of people that really want to come to you and, and, and get that inspiration just in case it rubs off, off of them or off of you, you know? And once you, you've got that passion, because you, you're giving it all out, you, you should never stop improving yourself. You know, because the more you give out, then the emptier you feel. So the more you, you know, you pour back onto yourself by self-improvement, reading, you know, going to, to, to be amongst other people that also rekindle your energy. It will let you go through for the long haul, you know, because right now, like I'm saying, everybody's looking for hope. Everybody's looking for leaders. And there's, there's constant changes in the business world. A lot of people are confused right now and they're seeking out for leaders like yourself. And things are changing fast. You know, you got to literally stand still or, you know, you got to literally run, run fast to stand still, you know. So this is why you then as a leader need to constantly educate yourself, improve yourself, so that you, you stay ahead of the competition, so that you, you constantly are a source for those that need you. So if you're going to be running a group, or even if you're going to be just a solopreneur, your clients are looking, for you, uh, looking up to you for solutions. Are you improving yourself to always be there when they need you? So it's not a matter of, you know, somebody has given you the badge of honor of being a leader. Whatever you are doing, that is leadership. You being, um, showing up to work, that is a form of leadership. And people are anticipating that you are there and you're going to help them. And that's what everybody else is, is looking forward to. So try and constantly learn. Listen from your audience because you can't lead people that don't respect you. So listen to, listen to what it is that they want. Get feedback from them. Learn from everybody else. And even those that you think are not good enough for you. Learn from, from everyone. Because we're here to live, we're here to learn, and we're here to contribute. And you never know where your biggest lessons are going to come from. Because there's always something new that you can learn so that you can improve on your leadership skills and like I said, it is a muscle that needs to constantly be worked on. And once you've worked on it, you become confident and people are always wanting to follow people that know the way. You know, so whatever you're doing, you are a leader. Whether you have two clients or you've got 500 clients, those people are looking up to you to show them the way. Now, are you brave enough or have you got the skills that you're using to, to self-improve yourself? You know, sometimes you might just need to take maybe a business leadership course or read a book about business leadership so that you can continuously improve who you are as a person, you know, because half the time, you know, the reason why a lot of people don't go in to, to learn something new is because the universities and schools have taught us that if you go in and seek for assistance, it's a sign of weakness. It's a sign of you not knowing what's going on. It's a sign of you being, um, you know, um, you know, you being incompetent. You know, in school, what, what used to happen is if you fail an exam, that means you've totally failed your rest of your life. But in life, if you fail, that's an opportunity to actually learn. So don't have any shame in admitting that you don't know something, you know, there's, there's very few absolute experts out there that actually know one single thing at a time. So even if you tell um, your, your, your audience that you are not competent, go then and learn that thing so that you come back tomorrow fully fledged and you've got answers and you're now a true leader, you know. And amongst all of this, don't forget to be positive. Nobody's going to follow somebody who is just talking and he's just can't have any energy because at the end of the day, they, their life is so hard and they don't have um, anything going on for them because you can tell, I mean, my day has been so rough and I just can't move right now. But negativity is not good. No one is going to follow somebody who's not going to lift them up. 
So if you're in a working environment or if you've got, um, you know, clients around you or if you've got people that follow you within a group, etc., etc., you have to show the leadership. You have to show positivity because people rely on hope. You know, hope is what makes the difference. And if you don't have none of it, it will make it difficult for anybody else to even follow you. So if you're always down, low, negative, you're scolding, you're yelling, you're not in control, it would be a hard time to get anyone around you to stay uh, positive. What if somebody rings you up and you're just, you know, down and under and they've got a $50,000 deal and then you can't even, you know, translate that excitement? Do you think somebody would want to do business with you from then on? So you want to maintain a positive attitude as a leader, approach, approaching problems as they come in. You know, you got to be calm, be constructive, be creative and take on whatever criticism that comes from people because that's how you learn. And people gra naturally gravitate to you more because you're listening to them and you're taking their advice on board and you're actually implementing what it is that, you know, they're contributing. So if you're going to be starting a group or if you're going to be starting any sort of community or whatever it is, you've got to be a leader, you know. And um, Lisa says, I'm very inspirational. I work with tremendous passion. I love what I do and I love... Uh, to facilitate transformation in people's lives, I believe I'm at a level 10, which is pretty good, which is pretty good. Because if you know you're at a level 10, there's always room for improvement. But whatever you're going to be doing as a leader, make sure you're moving in with a very clear vision. You know, without vision, people perish. I think that's from the Bible. You know, so as a leader, you really need to have clear and articulate goals for your team, for your clients, for everybody else who's going to be, um, you know, working in unison with you. So if you're going to be starting a Facebook group, make sure people know why they're in there instead of them thinking they're just being held hostage. Have your mission, have your goals of what project you're going to be putting it out there so that, you know, they need to be so clear that whoever walks in there can see 20 miles ahead. And Nicole says, what can I do to improve my ladder? Um, I don't know if that's a spelling mistake. Can you type in the right word there? What, what ladder are you talking about there, uh, Nicole? You know what I mean? So people need to know why and how they're going to benefit from working with you. So as a leader, you have to be clear on why are people going to be following you? Why should they be in that group? Why should they be part of your tribe? So you want to start, you know, to explain in detail your plan for the business, your plan for the group and show them their role in it. Because people want to be useful, but they need to be shown what to touch and what not to touch. You know, do you know what I mean? So, you know, one one good way to actually keep yourself either involved or or the people that are going to be joining in that group in, involved is to involve them in the whole planning of, of what you intend for them in a group. You know? Do you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, whatever you're going to be doing, get feedback from the people that you're going to be leading. So if you haven't opened up communication channels with them, how are you going to know that they still respect you? How are you going to know that they're still following you? How are you going to know that they're still there? Because as a leader, you have to constantly be checking behind you to see if you're actually leading anyone. And if you're leading them, where are you taking them to? You know, I really hope that in this short video, you've learned something new about, you know, upgrading your leadership skills. And I really hope that you're going to look at exactly where you are and who exactly needs to be in your tribe. Why should they be there? Are you being clear? Are you being passionate? And are you actually showing them the hope and the vision of where exactly you intend to be taking them? Because right now, anyone has a choice. You know what I mean? It's no longer like before where, you know, some people would just um, join a group and not know and not be sure where it is that, you know, they need to head off to. 
If people don't see where you're going, if they don't vibe with you, you know, those are the buzzwords that people, um, you know, are, are, are talking about. Vibe with your tribe. You know, if, if you don't show them the passion, if you don't show them the enthusiasm, the vision of where they're supposed to be going and why they need to be there and what is expected off of them, people always need to be told what to do. Do you know what I mean? It's just like a call to action. You always need to be telling people how to do certain things. You know? And at the end of the day, I'm not saying be as overzealous as I am, but just remember to be passionate about whatever you're doing. Maintain a positive attitude. Nobody's going to come to a, 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 a drama llama, you know? Because if you can't hold your own, how are you going to hold other people's grievances or problems or whatever it is that they might be going through? So if you're going to be starting a group, guess what is going to help you? Because you know what? People do business with those they know, like, and trust. So if you've created a Facebook group and you've you stood up and become a leader, not just a Facebook group anyway, just you starting a business, that's already leadership in the eyes of a lot of people because not so many people can do what you're doing, you know? So once you, 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 you lead the pack, You've got the stamina, you've got the positivity, you, you're passionate about where you're going. It's inevitable that people will seek you out and try and connect the umbilical cords to where you're headed to. But you've got to have a vision. Just like when you're driving, you know, the, the windscreen is, is big and you've got a really small rear view mirror. So what does that mean? Where you are going is you need to be have a clear vision and where you're coming from, it doesn't really matter. So if you show people that, hey, listen, this is where I'm headed, jump in, fit in, and let's go and do this, guess what's going to happen? They now have hope. They now have a new lease on life. And they now trust that you're going to be taking them across to the, um, you know, to um, the promised land. So how do you do this? Remember to be passionate, maintain a positive attitude, and most of all, continuous learning. Continuous learning, whether it's from a blog post, whether it's from a video like this, as long as you're improving. Because the average person or average business person only reads maybe one book a year. So if you read two, you're already an expert. If you read three, oh my God, they, they'll be looking for you um, in the news. If you read four, wow, you're like God. If you read five, my word, you probably now have the confidence to actually start a whole new line of a human species. So take your chance when other people are not doing as much. You know what I mean? Because leadership is a muscle, but you're going to need it if you want people to follow you. You're going to need it if you want people to actually buy from you. These days, people have so much of a choice. If you're not possessing any leadership, you're not showing people where you're headed, your values, your missions, your goals, etc., etc., it's not going to work for you. So keep learning. Keep improving. You know, and if you're in Australia, join the Australian Business Online Directory. Then there's a tribe that we're creating there. And guess what that is going to do for you? You're going to be amongst people that are going somewhere. Other leaders that you can learn from as, uh, uh, also. Because you can learn from anybody else. You know, sometimes when I'm looking for, when I'm prospecting for business, you know, I get people that are so stupid and they're like, hey, so when did you start your business? And I'm like, oh, five years ago. And they're like, yeah, I've been in business 44 years. And what do you think you can teach me? And I'm like, dude, listen, things happened last night that you're not even aware of. That's the reason why you are not rich. That's the reason why you're still where you are 44 years back. So continuously learn new things, reach out to people, offer a, a helping hand like what Lisa is doing there, helping out um, Nicole who needs to improve and continuously improve for as long as you can. People are looking out for your work. People are looking out for your services. People are seeking out for your help. Help them by actually helping them. And you surely become a leader that everybody looks up to. All right, I'm really, really excited about this topic. You know why? Because it really sits down with the connect part of my online prosperity blueprint, where you now have authority 
Because some people just think you can wake up and you're a born leader, etc., etc. But there's certain things that you've got to do, um, you know, for you to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And if you've made it this far in this video and you're craving for transformation of your own, I can literally help you, um, you know, to get there. So s write me a message. Let me know what it is that I can help you out with. There's no point in you sitting around and just watching my videos, um, you know, for, for, for fun. Because if you're not moving, if you're not growing, then that's a reflection of me as a person and I know I'm growing and I'm moving and I want to be you know a leader to people that are actually going somewhere else you know so you want to jump start your, your your personal transformation and really get on track um you know and build your best life possible so you can be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable I see Craig Cassidy is in the house how's it going my man he is an example of a man who's got a group if you're a dad and you really want positive positivity around you Craig can you type in your group's name or can you send us the link to your group's name he is a perfect example of a leader um, you know that um, that you know people really need to be around okay so like I'm saying guys transformation doesn't just happen you know it takes a plan it takes a support system and if I work with you you will actually be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I want you to have authority within your business so you can brand it and you can have a community of people that are just absolutely raving about your pro your, 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 your programs, all right? So if you're in Australia, we've got the Australian Business Online Directory. If you're not ready, um, you know, for the group, that's pretty cool, but you are a leader and I want to see you leading. I want to follow you myself. So show me that I can also follow you. In the meantime, I want you to go and really consider what I've just talked about. Watch this video again. Share it with somebody who really needs to hear this. And I bid you a fantastic day. Till tomorrow, have a fantastic day.